Hallo jer alle sammen, og velkommen tilbage til Paper Mario Master Quiz. Jeg er jeres svært, Danny Broken. <laughs> anyway, ja. Yeah. Uh, welcome back to uh, Master Quiz Junior. Um, we're back in hell, also known as Chapter 2. I uh, haven't played since last, because Drive Dry Desert made me so mad, that I felt I didn't want to play right now. So I didn't play right now. But I guess I'm ready to play again. <sighs> All right, dry dry ruins. Now there is yeah, there's a fright jar in there. That's not helpful though. We gotta get down here to grab the ruins key, and then go out. Anyway, so yeah, the desert last time, if you guys couldn't tell, kind of pissed me off just a little. How many star points am I from leveling up? Are there any, like, badges that I'm really gonna need for Tutten, Tutten Koopa? I'm trying to think here. Mmm... Not really, no. Maybe Shrink Stomp? That's about it. But yeah, it'd still be nice to get some more BP at this point. What items do I have on me right now? Uh... Hustle Drink, Life Shroom, Lemon, Dried Fruit. Hot shroom, hot shroom, hot shroom. I have to have all my hot shrooms, still have all my cakes. That's pretty good. I'm supposed to beat some enemies in here anyway, so. So we'll be all good. Anyway. This is, in my opinion, one of the better dungeons in the game. Basically, every single uh, chapter in the game has some sort of dungeon or castle. For chapter 1, it's Cooper Bros. Fortress. For chapter 2, it's Drive Dry Ruins. For chapter 3, it's Tubba Blubba Castle. For chapter 4, it's the toy box itself. For chapter 5, it's Mount Lava Lava. Oh, hi! Wait, let me run away real quick and switch to Goombaria. It's because those are not in vanilla. Anyway, yeah, uh, in chapter 5, it's Mount Lava Lava. In chapter 6, it's... I just, it's, not, it's not in chapter 6. Chapter 7, it's that castle. I don't remember what it's called. And in chapter 8, it's Bowser's castle itself. Anyway, Dole Bones. You guys are not usually in this game. Immune to Fire Flowers. Two health. Probably a shit ton of defense. Moving on. Since we upgraded Gumbario... Uh, oh, no. No, yeah, we, we, didn't, we upgraded Paracarry. I'm dumb. Right, whatever. What's in here? Yeah, I'm gonna screw this up quite a lot, I feel like, because, again, I haven't played this game in quite a while. What's in here? There's the key. You need the sand to lower, though. But, yeah, out of the dungeons that are actually in this game, this is definitely one of my favorites. I think the whole sand me mechanic is really cool. I definitely clicked down. I definitely clicked down. Thank you. And this is the bombette. Boop. This will let us lower this. Dude. So yeah, if it seems like I'm dodging a lot of enemies, it's because I am. Uh, oh, there's a star piece back here. I completely forgot about this. I actually completely forgot about every single collectible that's in here. I'm hoping we don't have to backtrack in here. Should I find a star piece guy just so I don't have to backtrack here? It's probably a good idea, isn't it? Because backtracking in this game is a pain. At least right now it is. But knowing me, I probably already missed something. Right, so this is chapter three. Hold up. Oh, there's like no there's like no star piece in this chapter. Wow, okay, there's nothing in here. I mean maybe there's some badges. I wouldn't know. Again, I'm really sorry for this static here. There's not much I can do about it. If I could fix it I would. Yeah, probably can. I just haven't looked into it that much. Try ruins. Yeah, there's two, two chapters in here. Usually. But uh, Spike Shield has been removed. The place where you saw Fright Jar before, there's supposed to be uh, Spike Shield there. I grabbed the key, right? Oh my fucking god, I didn't grab the key. Danny. Huh. But yeah, I will uh, 
definitely check in on Merlot after this, because I need to get some Merlot badges pretty soon, I feel like. I just don't know if HP train would be that good. Yes, ah, oh, I'm so conflicted. Alright, isn't there someone here that I'm, I'm supposed to like open these coffins or whatever? Yeah. Let's get a uh, Cooper out because uh, Shell Toss extra damage doesn't help me if I'm gonna be chased into a fucking corner. Got it. Damn. These guys have defense. I haven't tattled them, so I wouldn't know. Okay, they have defense, yeah. And also a stupid amount of help. Let's just Quake Hammer. Now we'll kill the Dull Bones in the back as well. There you go. Oh, but of course he works like a normal Dry Bone, so he's gonna try and wake up every turn. Oh boy. Do do do. Should be it. Yeah, still only 5 HP, thank god. But only 2 star points each. It's not a lot. Alright. That's one. Now we do it again. Can I stop, dude? I don't want to do it. Here. There you go. Boop. Oh, thank god we got Quake Hammer in here. Because that swooper would have been a pain in the ass. I mean, so I can't really hit him right now. Um, I'm just kind of forced to take out the Poke Mummy here. Let's see. Uh, he's gonna. Okay, he can get up and attack on the same turn. Ow. Uh, piece of garbage. Will this kill? It will. Okay. One damage. Yeah, that whole thing about tattling every enemy that I was gonna be, like, so good at at the beginning. Yeah, let's just forget about all that, because these battles are getting... Oh, shit! Double star points! Let's go! That's actually really good timing. Nice. But yeah, as I said, like, that whole tattling thing, I want to do it, because I think being able to see the HP is going to be a lot nicer for you guys. I'm kind of hoping that when pre when Peekaboo is unlocked, it'll cost zero BP, so I can see it without having to tattle. But it'll probably still cost BP. Anyway, nothing I can do about that really. Dude, that guy's so fast! What the hell, man? Dude, I actually didn't just do that. Great. Alright, now I have to refresh. I'm such an idiot. Alright. And now we... We have no choice but the shell toss here. There we go, that's one damage. Okay. Dude, why is that guy so fast? That's actually so annoying. Alright, now let's kill the swooper. Good. And this should kill. And then we can get whatever's up there. Of course I will get slow go, even though it's completely useless, except for one singular part of the game. And key. Nice. But we do want to get the artifact and stuff here, because it'll give us some star pieces later. Is it, is it star pieces? I'm not sure. Oh yeah, I need the super hammer before I can do any of that. What's up top here, though? It's gotta be something, right? Or can I just straight up not do anything here? I just can't do anything here. Uh. Alright, let's get out of here, then. There should be a couple more super blocks coming up. I know, there should be one, I think. I know it's Paracarry over there, but... We can also bomb at this real quick. Boop. What's in here? This is where Slogo is, right? It's not. Okay, this is... Oh, hard block? Is this in vanilla? I don't know. Anyway, now we can upgrade someone. And... 
for the Tutton Koopa fight, I will indeed upgrade Gumbario. I do prefer Cooper because of the whole shell toss buff thing, but Cooper will be more useful later. Uh, Gumbario will be really useful for Tutton Koopa, and making bosses easier is more important than making uh, enemies easier. Anyway, there's even more in here. I forget. Okay, that's where the next stone is. So, when is Super Hammer coming up? Oh god. Yeah, there's the map. Uh, okay, there's just nothing here right now. I'll come back for this then. Let me switch to Cooper again. Yes, this means Kumbario will now do 2 damage per head bonk. Uh, or 4, actually. So, yeah, because it's yeah, 2 per hit. Yeah. Anyways, parry carry. How many times am I going to do this wrong? Um, let's see, yeah, here's the, uh, chest room, we're supposed to get the super hammer from this. So if we hit this, all of the stairs are gonna turn. Oh, yeah, all the stairs on the right side are gonna turn. So now I can go over here, hit this, this will turn the stairs back again. <laughs> This means we can go over here and hit. I have to think here. Yeah, I have to go from there. Which means I have to be able to go from the bottom. Which I can. Perfect. This puzzle's literally free. Why am I even thinking about this? <laughs> there we go. And now we run around. Probably get back to stream maps real quick so I can actually tell how long I've been recording. <laughs> Oh, hi, hi, mouse. What's up? <laughs> Anyways. Up here. And get over here. Perfect. Now, there is... Okay. I kind of need to... Yeah, here we go. Okay. I've got it. This is slow, though. There you go. How anybody found this without a guide is beyond me. Anyway. Super hammer. This means our hammer will now do more damage, and we can destroy these stupid stones. So now I'm at the, uh, I guess the worst part for me, which is gonna be, uh, these stone chomps. Can I? Okay. I feel like Shell Shot would be pretty useful here. Okay. Okay, there. Here we go. How many? And a poison mummy. Why? But okay, let's be honest. If I do this, he should die, right? Oh, double damage. Well, I should have used it on a stone chomp then. Great. I dealt eight. I wouldn't have killed then. Oh, wow. Uh, can I kill? There's no way I can carry a stone chomp out. I won't even bother. Three damage. That's not enough. Is that going to fake you out? That's so mean. Okay. Uh, let's quake hammer. So, did you guys have five HP then? They have more. Oh lord. Uh, can I can I skydive damage these? Nope. That's messy. Um, I guess what I'll do here is I'll... I can't... I'll focus. Because I kind of need to refresh right now. And then I'll use my last shell shot to get rid of this guy. They have between 6 and 8 HP. Ow. 
Okay, that's at least got me the refresh I needed. Thank God. Okay. No, 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 no. Alright. Then we shell shot. Perfect. There we go. And now we shell shot one more time. Perfect. Alright, that went surprisingly well. Ten star points as well. Thankfully, there's a health block right outside of here. Maybe we got the diamond stone. Boop. Now, there is something in the back here. I'm kind of hoping I don't run into anything here. There you go. Okay. Go here. Bam. Hit this. Stairs. Wow. I completely forgot about this section. Okay, here we go. Gives us a ruins key. That'll help us later. I believe there's one of these don't jump battles that are actually optional. But uh, don't quote me on that. Am I supposed to go down here, maybe? Oh, here is the, uh, the place where we put in the stones, and there's where we're supposed to use the key. And that's where we can fall down here from a different angle. Okay. It's slowly coming back to me. Ruins key. I think I'm kind of doing this in a screwed up order. That's fine. Yeah, so, diamond. Okay, yeah, moon. Yeah, okay. That should be easy to remember. So now there's sand here. Yeah, okay. And this will get us... Yeah, this one. Alright. And then, from above... Well, that's an interesting setup, actually. I'm not sure if I like that. Uh, okay, it's a quake hammer. I guess for now, I'll just focus on taking out the Buzzy Beetles. There you go. They seem to have 5 HP. There you go. These guys will normally do 3 damage when I guard. Uh, thankfully, damage dodge is a uh, pretty good. I screwed that up. Alright, quake hammer again. Boop. That killed that guy. That means I can now shell shot you. Oh, double defense. That's actually really solid. I still suck at guarding, though. Dude, why did I never use shell shot in vanilla? Dude, shell shot is so fucking good. Oh, level up. Nice. More BP. Alright, let's equip Shrink Stomp. Um, run away. Nah, that, that feels too cheap. I'll put on Truth. It doesn't matter. I guess Smash Charge and Spin Smash. Truth Stomp will be good, but only for enemies that are invisible. <laughs> Which there aren't really that many of currently. All right, we can definitely put diamond in here, lunar in here. Now we just gotta backtrack all the way back. So yeah, my goal right now is just gonna be to get 30 BP. Getting 30 BP is so crucial because I know that because badges are gonna be nerfed and buffed constantly, it means I can't really rely on my old knowledge on BP, like. In the original Paper Mario, let's talk vanilla here, Quick Change cost 4 BP, in CDYD it costed 7. They clearly realized how broken Quick Change was. That's why I'm kind of worried that... I don't know. 
Okay, yeah, I know. Okay, it actually isn't optional. I just, I can't leave until this bit. That's a bad idea, that's a bad idea, that's a bad idea. Okay, yeah, just switch to parry carry. I don't care. That's just, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> oh, three of them. And an ember. Uh, okay. Again, with these interesting setups, I'm gonna just hammer throw this ember. Boop. And then I'm gonna shell shot you. Hope for my guards. <laughs> there you go. Now we quick hammer. We should be able to do nothing here. Nice. 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 If I think Quake Hammer will kill here. It, it depends. If they have 6 HP, they'll die now. Sadly, they have more. I have to guard here then. I think. Does that even help? I might be dead here. Actually. Okay, I should be fine now. Uh fuck. Refresh. Mmm. Yeah, because I, I really want refresh up, but I guess I'll just have to focus in a different battle. Okay, yeah. This this is the only right thing to do right now. There you go. And then I'll just shell shot. These stone chumps have always been a pain to fight, honestly. But uh, there's nothing we can do about that. Let's just quick hammer. Boop. And dead. Bunch of star points, though. So. Alright. And now I will intentionally encounter some enemies, you, and then I will focus. Good. And then I'll just do nothing, and I'll just have to guard. <laughs> I'll have to guard. Thank you. Ow. Ow. Alright, I'm out of here. We'll get to the health block, and then we'll think about our choices after that. <sighs> um, health block's back here, right? There you go. Nice. Now we can just run into- that's not the way I wanted to run into you, I'm gonna be honest. Okay, I'll focus. This way, refresh will be ready. <laughs> Next round. And because there's basically always a health block right before the boss. Oh, he targeted Paracarry. Damn. I didn't, okay, obviously there are new enemies. I couldn't really seen that coming. There you go. So now I have refresh ready. And now... Chomps will be, uh... Glimmering with glimmer. There you go. Heart block and safe block. Sudden Koopa is right past his door, and because of that, we are ending this episode a little bit early. So, thank you guys for 
uh, for watching this episode of Paper Mario Master Quest Jr. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like because I'm a sellout. And I'll see you next time when we tackle Tutankoopa and hopefully beat Chapter 2. See ya.